All right, that was the pregame wrap-up. Hey, it's 7.02, and we're ready to go. Hallelujah. Okay, good morning. My name is Father Wade, Wade Fonestock. I'm also known as Friar Wade here on social media channels. Uh, just a little bit of housekeeping. What we're going to do is we're going to have a three-way prayer. Three-way prayer. Um, my, th these are part of my morning prayers that I pray every morning. And they're pretty similar, pretty structured. I'm developing a habit of prayer. And I encourage you to do the same. If you want to pray along with me, you can. If you want to have your own rule of prayer, which is fine, you can do that too. The idea is to pray without ceasing and begin in a life of prayer. Uh, a life of prayer. I mean, nobody says a life of breathing. Prayer should be like breathing. So that's what we're going to do. If you have any special prayer requests, good morning, James. God bless you. See, I can see comments today. Gosh, this is, this is pretty cool. And I am recording at the same time. Lord have mercy. This is awesome. So, without any further delay, um, oh, I'd like to invite you to go to our Patreon page, uh, patreon.com slash friarway. I'm going to post that link in the video later on so that you can have access to that, and uh, we will give you a little bit more information about what we're doing. So, here we go. I've got something on the screen I'm going to clear off. There you go. Bye-bye. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. O Heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, you are everywhere present and you fill all things. You are the treasurer of blessing and the giver of life. Come and abide with us. Live in us. Cleanse us from every stain of sin and save our souls, O gracious Lord. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us. Santo Dios, Santo Fuerte, Santo Inmortal, Señor ten piedad de nosotros. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive us of our sins and pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal us of our infirmities for your name's sake. And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come, and let he that hears say, Come, and let him that is thirsty come, and drink of the water of life freely. Jesus said that he that believes on me, as the scripture says, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Lord, this day we ask for the rivers of living water to flow up in my soul and in our souls. Lord, we need that fresh breath of heaven. Lord, this day I've come to drink from the well. Lord, I want to come to the well where I can have an everlasting life bubbling up. That spring, that well of water, spring up, O oh Lord, and within my soul. I remember that, that song. That's, I've got a river of life flowing out of me. Makes the lame to walk and the blind to see. It opens prison doors, sets the captives free. I've got a river of life flowing out of me. Spring up, oh well, within my soul. Spring up, oh well, and make me whole. Spring up, oh well, and give to me that life abundantly. Lord, cause me to hear your loving kindness in the morning, for in you do I trust. Lord, your mercies are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 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 Arising from sleep, I fall down before you, and I sing the angelic hymn, O mighty one. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
Now that you have raised me up from my bed of sleep, O Lord, enlighten my heart and my mind, and open my lips that I may show forth your praise. For you are blessed to all generations, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Suddenly shall the judge come, and the deeds of every one will be revealed. Therefore in fear I cry out at midnight, Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Senor ten piedad, Senor ten piedad, Senor ten piedad. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Hello, if you're just joining us for prayer live, this is Father Wade here in Lakeland, Florida, and you're right in the middle of our morning prayers. Here's a prayer from St. Basil the Great. St. Basil the Great saying, praying, Having arisen from sleep, I thank you, O Holy Trinity, for in your great goodness and love you have not been angry with me in my negligence or my sinfulness, but in your great compassion and love you have raised me up this day as I lay in despair, that I may sing the glories of your majesty. Lord, this day enlighten the eyes of my heart and my mind and open my mouth that I may show forth your praise. Cause me to hear your loving kindness in the morning and may your word abide in me. Open my heart to receive the word. Teach me your commandments. Open my heart to receive your words and help me to do your will. Let me confess your name from my heart, singing and praising your all holy name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O oh, come, let us worship God our King. O oh, come, let us worship God our King. O oh, come, let us fall down before Christ himself our King and our God. Lord, be still and know that you are God. Lord, in your presence I stand, I humbly bow. Lord, you are my God and my King. I bow before you in humility. Oh, fill me again with your holy love. Set me apart and teach me how to pray this day. Oh, I come and I fall down before you. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning, Jay Lenore. God bless you. Psalm 50, 51. Let's pray. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great goodness and according to your abundant mercy. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you and you only have I sinned and done that which is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence and, excuse me, and blameless in your judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward being, therefore teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with kissip, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Fill me, Lord, with joy and gladness. Let the bones which you have humbled rejoice. Hide not your face from my sins. Lord, blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Put a new and right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence. And take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation. And uphold me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways. And sinners will return to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, God of my salvation. And my tongue will sing of your deliverance. Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall sing forth your praise. 
for you have no delight in sacrifice. Were I to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Do good to Zion in your good pleasure. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in right sacrifices and burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings will be offered on your altar. Praise the Lord. If anyone confesses his sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all righteousness. The steadfast love of the Lord never changes and his mercy endures to all generation, never comes to an end. As the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs for you, Lord. Lord, I'm hungry and I thirst for you. Lord, I desire to be a body wholly filled with your fullness. Cleanse me from every stain of sin, every taint of the flesh and of the spirit. Lord, allow myself to purge myself, to cleanse myself by the washing of the water by your word. Heal my mind, heal my emotions, heal my heart, O oh God. You are my Lord, and you do I trust. Hello, good morning. This is Father Wade here in Lakeland, Florida. Glad to see you joining with me today in morning prayer. If you'd like to share this out, just go down and click on the share button and let your friends know that we are having morning prayer, believe it or not, on Facebook Live. Glory to God. Well, I, what are you, Wade? I'll tell you, I'm an Orthodox Old Catholic priest. Well, what does an Orthodox Old Catholic priest believe? We believe what the early church believed for the first thousand years. Remember when there was only one church? That's what we seek. We seek that, the, that teaching and that tradition, not, not man-made tradition, but a sacred tradition passed on to us by the apostles and prophets. How did the, our church fathers understand the scriptures? And more important, how did they live out the living faith? And the fathers are not dead. They continue to speak to us today. Remember, there's a great cloud of witnesses around us. In fact, where you are and where I am right now, we are encompassed by angels. Lord, our guardian angels are here about us to protect us. Yes, we live in a real world. Just because we can't see it doesn't mean it's not real, right? For we walk by faith and not by sight. We don't look at the things that we can see. We look at the things which we can't see. Because the things that we can see are temporary and subject to change. But the things which are unseen are eternal. Glory to God. What do you believe? Well, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things, visible and invisible. And in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. Who was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried and on the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom shall have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who, to, who with the Father and Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Is that your statement of faith? That is my symbol of faith. Where did that come from? It came from the, the First Ecumenical Council in 325, and the second in 381. That's a long time ago. And that creed has been confessed for generation upon generation of the Christian faith. Pray, pray with me this day. O Lord, eternal and creator of all things, who in your great goodness called me to this life, and you gave me the gift and the grace of baptism and the seal of your Holy Spirit, and you gave me the desire to seek you, O Lord. O Lord, hear my prayer. Lord, I have no light, no life, no joy or wisdom, and no strength except in you. But because of my unrighteousness, Lord, I dare not even lift my eyes to you. But you said to your disciples, whatsoever you ask in prayer, believing you shall receive. And whatsoever you ask in my name, that I will do. And therefore, because of your instruction, my Lord, I am asking and I dare to praise you. I dare to come boldly before the throne of grace because of your love and because of your great compassion. And this is my prayer, that you purify me from all taint of the flesh and spirit and teach me to pray correctly. Bless this day which you give to me, your servant, and by the power of your blessing, enable me at all times to speak and act to your glory with a pure heart, humbly, patient, love, gentleness, 
in peace, in courage, and in wisdom. Lord, let today, let me always be aware of your presence, of your ineffable goodness, O Lord. Show me the path of your will and grant me to walk in your sight without sin. O Lord, all hearts are open to you and you know the things I have need of. You are acquainted with my blindness and my ignorance. <laughs> that's a nice, that, Lord, that's a nice way of saying you're acquainted with my stupidity. <laughs> Ah, uh, no, I'm sorry, God. No I'm, no, I'm not sorry. I'm just, you know, Lord, sometimes I, I, it's hard for me to get things through my head and my heart, but you are so patient with me. I thank you. <laughs> Lord, so you're, you're acquainted with my weaknesses, my habits, my laziness. God, heal me. Um, but neither are my pain and my anguish and my desires and my situation hid from you either. You know all things. Therefore, I ask you to hear my prayer, which by your Holy Spirit teach me in the way wherein I should walk. And when my perverted will would lead me down another path, don't spare me, God, but force me back to you. Lord, guide me. And by the power of your love, grant me to hold fast to that which is good. Lord, preserve me from every word or deed that corrupts the soul and from every impulse that is unpleasing to you and in your sight and everything that is hurtful to my fellow man. Lord, teach me what to say and how to speak. And if it be your will that I make no answer, if it, if it be your will that I don't respond to a Facebook comment, whew, inspire me to keep silent in the spirit of peace that causes neither sorrow, sorrow nor hurt to my fellow man. Establish me in the path of your commandments, O God, and in the light of your ordinances let me not stray. And to my last breath let your whole law be my delight. And when you bring met ready, when you are ready to bring my life to a close on this earth, please forewarn me that I may set my affairs in order and prepare my soul to you. I only ask that you do not take me away before I am able to offer you to true transformation by the power of your Holy Spirit. O oh Lord my God, your transformation is all I desire. Help me, O oh Lord. I am sinful and needy. And I desire to I desire to walk in you in righteousness and true holiness. Lord, I desire to love my wife as I should. I desire to love my children as I should. I desire to love my fellow man and be an example of faith and piety. Lord, have mercy on me. And spare me. Lord, in my foolishness, I, I ask you for many great things, but I am ever mindful of my, my weaknesses. Have mercy on me and cast me not away from your presence because of my presumption. But this is what I'd like you to do for me, the worst of sinners, the chiefest of sinners. I want to love you as you have commanded with all of my heart, with all of my soul, with all of my mind, with my whole being. Lord, teach me good judgment and knowledge this day and grant me to know your truth before I go down to the grave. Lord, maintain my life in this world and let me be a blessing to others. Cleanse me from my secret faults, all the iniquity that is even hidden from me. Lord, give me a right answer before your judgment seat and be with me, O Lord, at that dread hour and grant unto me the joy of your salvation. Amen, amen, amen. Good morning. This is Father Wade here in Lakeland, Florida. You've caught me right in the middle of our morning prayers. If you're joining with me on Facebook Live, uh, you can go ahead and share that out if you would like to. If you are on Blab right now, I see there's a few people on Blab. God bless you. It's good to see you. And if you have any special prayer requests, let me know, for we are about to intercede for others. And this is something that uh, that I like to pray. Uh you know, we all have guardian angels. Maybe you don't know that, but yes, you do. And um, uh, I talk to my angel. I don't know if he talks back. He's pretty quiet. But every once in a while, I'm sure I hear his voice <laughs> saying, don't do that. Oh, holy angel who keeps guard over my despondent soul and passionate life, don't forsake me a sinner, nor shrink back from me because of my intemperance. And give no place to the cunning demon to overcome me through the oppression of my mortal body. Strengthen my weak and feeble hands and guide me in the way of salvation. Yes, holy angels of God, guardian and protector of my soul and body, forgive me for anything and everything that I have offended you. 
And if I have sinned during the past night, protect me during this day. Preserve me from any temptation from the enemy, that I may not anger God by my sin. And angel, pray to the Lord for me, that he may establish me in his will and prove me a servant worthy of his kindness. Amen, <clears throat> amen, amen. O Lord, grant that I may greet this coming day in peace and help me to rely on your holy will at every moment. Bless my time with all who surround me and teach me to treat that whatever may come to me, whatever may happen to me throughout the day with a peace of soul and the firm conviction that your will governs all. In all my deeds and words, please guide my thoughts and feelings. In unforeseen events, let me not forget that all are sent by you. Teach me to act firmly, Lord, and wisely with all who come my way. Lord, give me the strength to bear the fatigue of this coming day and all that it will bring. Direct my will and teach me to pray and pray yourself and me. Lord, and this is the last day. If this is the last day and then my last breaths, may they all be counted worthy of you. Amen. 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 All right, now that we're going to pray, we're going to pray for our uh, friends. However, I would like to give a commercial. Thanks for sharing, Jay Lenora. Uh, here's a commercial. This prayer is brought to you by our friends at Patreon. So please visit our Patreon page, patreon.com slash friarway. However, I would like to share this with you. Um, I'm holding up a brochure called The 40 Days of Love. And it is a campaign that a friend of mine are doing. It's 40 days of praying, caring, and sharing the gospel to transform the state of Florida. And you can, uh, there's a Facebook page. You can go to the 40 Days of Love. This is for September 19th to October 29th. And the idea is, is for everyone, if you're a believer, is to find 10 people that are in your circle of influence. Um, you can write their names down here. Maybe you can't think of 10 people that you, <laughs> I don't know 10 people. 10 people within your sphere of influence that you have some interest in, that you have a connection with, all right? And you start praying for them. Then as you're praying, you write down, how can you care for them? Now, I know that there's a food bank here, uh, the Central Florida Food Bank, that <clears throat> is going to offer uh, like bags of groceries. So if you know, know somebody that needs some food right, and care for them in a loving way, that's an opportunity. All right, if they're in prison, visit them. If they're sick, visit them. Maybe you need to write a letter. And then share how you can share your testimony and your life with them. So prayer, care, and share. 40 Days of Love. It's a campaign that many churches are getting involved with. And whether you're Protestant, Catholic, Orthodox, this is an opportunity for you and your church to be involved in sharing love in our generation to the state of Florida in our own community. Again, you can go to the website. If you have any other questions on it, just um, you know, message me and I'll get you that information. But I know we should do... <laughs> it's funny... I mean, we've got to have a special campaign of 40 Days of Love. Sometimes we just need to focus, and this is an opportunity for us to focus. So the 40 Days of Love. As we pray for one another, <clears throat> the Lord Jesus Christ said, I will that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, he said, I will that you clear your throat before continuing. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Lord have mercy. Um, the, the disciples asked Jesus how to pray, and he says, when you pray, pray like this. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Jesus gave us a key of prayer. When you stand praying, forgive. When you stand praying, I'm standing, you might not be standing, but when you stand praying, forgive. How about if you're seated? Anytime that you pray, forgive. If you have aught against your brother, you're bringing a gift to the Lord or you're praying to the Lord and you have aught, you have um, something between you and your brother or your sister in Christ or, or in the natural world, you know, do your natural brothers or sisters, whatever. You can make, you can do your best to make amends. Forgive, forgive. But if you've got angst on the inside of you against anyone, I, I would not count on those prayers being heard or answered. 
the, the prayer that needs to be heard there is, Lord, forgive me. Now help me to set things right. Help me to set things right. Part of confession of sin is not just acknowledging that it's wrong and that it's sinful and that it is a deviation between um, the, the, the will of God, the God of love, and our own selfish ways. Repentance and change and forgiveness involves taking that, taking the whole step and making it right. He wants transformation. That's the will. That's the will of God. You know, every, if, if everybody quit asking God for forgiveness and just start loving their brother, man, we would be one. If we would quit insisting on our own rights or our own way, and we would seek after the, the needs of others, if we would truly lay down our lives for our friends, this world would be a different place. You wouldn't have all these divisions. But where does divisions and strife, where does it come from? It comes from strife and envy and every evil work. Right? So, as we pray, if you have somebody that you need to get right with, let today be the day that you get right with them. Lord, reveal unto me those that I can forgive. Lord, reveal to me those and open the door of repentance. Open the door of change. Create the opportunity for me to change. All right, now let's pray for our friends. Do you stop praying for your friends just because you're in the process of repentance? Let's say that you're bitter and you're mad and that you're angry at God. Should you stop praying? No. Why? Because God's merciful, <laughs> right? God's merciful. You know, somebody says, well, if I can, I mean, I, I hate this person. I, I'm just not going to pray. Well, you know, that's one way you could look at it. You know, hey, I'm, I'm just no good, so I'm just going to stop breathing. Some people do that. But no, you continue to pray and you continue to seek. But the important thing is to be a doer of the word and not just to hear only. Because if you were, when you are doing the word and hearing it, then you are a faithful servant of the Lord. And his love dwells in you when you keep his word. However, if you just talk the Bible, talk the Christianese, if you say the right things, you do the right things, you know, no, I'm saying you're doing the right things, but if you don't have love in all of that, then you're missing the mark. So today we ask that we be filled with a, the, the love of God. I don't know if any of that made sense to you, if that makes sense. Well, what do you say if you do the right things? Well, you remember 1 Corinthians 13? It says, even though I give my body to be burned and have not love, even though I give all of my goods to the poor and have not love, I'm nothing, right? So it's not just in doing deeds or good works. There is the love. There's the love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious. Love does not boil over with jealousy. Love is not easily provoked. Love is kind. You know what I'm saying? Love does not rejoice in evil, but love rejoices when right and truth prevail. Now that's love. And that's what we need to have no matter what we're doing. Lord, fill us today with that love. Commemoration of the living. Praying for our brothers and sisters today. Oh Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who for the sake of your eternal mercy, and your loving kindness, you became man and suffered crucifixion for the death and for the death and salvation of who for the sake of your eternal mercy and loving kindness, you became man and suffered crucifixion and death for the salvation of all. You rose from the dead and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father, where you hear the prayers of all who call upon you humbly and with their whole heart. Incline your ear to our prayer, which your servants offer as a spiritual sacrifice for all your people. Lord, remember, first of all, your holy Catholic and apostolic church, which you have purchased with your precious blood, your body, one body of Christ. For there is one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. Lord, I pray that you bless it, that you multiply, that you keep it in peace, and do not allow the gates of hell to prevail against it. Lord, prevent schisms among the churches and pacify the ragings of the pagans and quickly destroy the uprising of heresies by the power of your Holy Spirit. And Lord, I pray for the church here in Lakeland. I pray for the St. Nectarius Orthodox Parish. I pray for St. Saint Saint Anthony's. I pray for St. Joseph's Resurrection and St. John Newman Roman Catholic Church. I pray for all saints Episcopal and St. David's Episcopal. I pray for Southside Baptist. I pray for Lakeside Baptist. I pray for First Baptist. 
Lord, I pray for all those that name the name of the Lord here in Lakeland. And I pray that you would prevent schisms among the churches, that you would heal, heal the ragings of the pagans. Lord, I also pray for all Orthodox jurisdictions throughout the world, the Russian Orthodox, the Greek Orthodox, the Bulgarian, the Georgian, the, uh, the Orthodox Church in America, the Ukrainian Orthodox. Lord, I pray for the Ethiopian and the Coptic Orthodox and the Syrian Orthodox, the Antiochian, those that are suffering persecution in the Middle East at this time. Lord, have mercy on them. Lord, I also pray for our president, President Obama, Pres Vice President Joe Biden. I pray for our congressmen and for our senators. I pray for the Judiciary Committees, and I pray for the Supreme Court justices. Lord, and all those who make and administer our laws, all municipal powers and authorities. Lord, I pray that you will grant them continual victory over unrighteousness and over evil in all places. And Lord, that's kind of, I almost feel like that's an oxymoron that, that we ask an unrighteous group to um, prevail over unrighteousness. So therefore, God, I pray for those that have departed from your living truth that they would be removed from office. And Lord, ever so lovingly and in your great mercy, but I pray that you would raise up to power and authority that those who make godly counsel their delight, who listen to godly wisdom, who whom are men and women of integrity, who are good for their word, who are not corrupted by the deceits of the riches and the lust for power. Lord, I pray that you raise up men and women of faith in humility and give us statesmen again in this great country, O oh God. Lord, I pray for especially for uh, Congressman Dennis Ross and his wife Cindy. Lord, grant him wisdom beyond his years. Grant him favor that he may do work your righteousness and work great things for the state of Florida, for our district, and for this, this uh, country. Lord, we desire to live a quiet, calm, and peaceful life in your sight through true faith and prayer and with godly deeds. Amen. Amen. Lord, and any others, if you know, uh, if you uh, have other congressmen or senators or government officials like, like Grady Judd, God bless Grady Judd. Lord, we pray for the, the police in uh, Dallas, Texas. We pray for all the LEOs, the law enforcement officers throughout this country. Lord, have mercy on them. Lord, we pray, we pray for them. Lord, remove from power those that are corrupt. And Lord, there are some. We know that. Lord, we know that there are officers that make mistakes, but then we know some officers who are just full of the devil and who do evil things. And Lord, I pray that they will be brought to justice in your loving kindness and in your mercy, Lord. Lord, have mercy on our law enforcement officials. Lord, have mercy on our school system and our teachers who instruct our young. Grant them peace and grant them the ability to share godly values with their students. Lord, we also pray for all patriarchs, popes, metropolitans, archbishops, bishops, and priests, all apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers, and the whole order of your clergy. We pray for the monastics. We pray for all those who have the, the missionaries, all those who have given their life in service for you, all those who have that you have established to feed the flock of your word. And by their prayers and by their mercy and your mercy, have mercy on us, Lord, and save us. Lord, I pray especially this day for Father Nicholas Waborski and Pani Wanda, for Father Maximus Urbanowitz, for Father Deacon Daniel Dozier, and for his wife Karen, for David, for Bishop David Dolans, and Father Juan A.J. Correa, for Father Harry Linson Bigler and his wife Carrie, for Dustin Lawrence and Christy, for Father Mark Hodges and Donna, for Father Andy Doan, Lord, for Father John Peck and for Father Johannes Jacobs, for, for Dr. Greg Morrison Sandy, for Father Tom Soroka and Joni Maria's wife, for Father Barnabas Powell, for Father Jonathan Cook and his wife Tammy, for Father Mark Rowe and his wife Rebecca, for F Father Fred, for Metropolitan Hilarion, for Mother Andrea Nicholas, for Father Constantine, for Bishop Michael Neesmith, for Tony Allen and Yasmin, his wife, for Butch Vanderpool and for Kim Johnson, for Bishop Preg, for Deacon Carlos and Wanda, for Tony Ponsetti. And Lord, I pray for, um, I'm having to switch over to clergy page two. Lord, I pray for Metropolitan Isaiah and for the priest Anthony and for the priest John and Archbishop Kirill. I pray for Pastor Bill McCabe of, South, McCabe, McCabe of Southside Baptist. I pray for Lee Burroughs. Lord, I pray for Charles Edwards. Lord, have mercy on these men of God 
And Lord, all the men and women of God who are called to the city of Lakeland, Lord, I pray that you raise them up. I pray for the Word Up Ministries. I pray for Heart of the Father and Jer Jeremiah Johnson. Lord, I pray for Reggie Scarborough down at Family Worship Center and Scott Thomas up at uh, Free Life Chapel. And Lord, the list goes on and on. Uh, for uh, Pastor E.T. Pickett, Lord God, have mercy on them and give them your strength and save them. By their prayers, save us. Have mercy on our spiritual fathers and mothers, O Lord, and save them. And by their holy prayers, forgive us our transgressions. Have mercy, O Lord, on our parents and save them, together with our brothers and sisters and our kinfolk after the flesh and our friends, and grant them your blessing, both here and in the age to come. Lord, I begin by praying for my family. I pray for Martha, Kathleen, Brandon, and me. Lord God, as this year approaches, and forget this year, God, I need, we need today. Today's the day of salvation. Lord, I pray for me. I pray for healing of my mind and my soul and my body. Help me with discipline and the things I need. Help me to be a better husband. Lord, I pray for my wife that you heal her body, that you, you grant her a new job, O oh God. I pray that you bring in the finances for our family. And Lord, not just my family, but my friends who are, are, who are watching on Facebook and on Blab right now. Lord, there are many financial needs and many miracles that really need to take place for our friend's life. Lord, we know that you told us to seek first the kingdom of heaven and your righteousness and all these things would be added. But Lord, when I say but Lord, that means not forget all that. So we do seek first your kingdom. And we ask you, because you've instructed us to, to meet all of our needs. Lord, you know, we're in the boat and the winds and the waves are rocking and you're sleeping. Well, either help us go to sleep and ride it out or get up and calm the wind and the seas or teach us how to get up and say, peace, be still. Therefore, we speak to our finances and we speak to our situation. We speak to our own lives and we say, do what is right. Wade, you need to do what's right. You need to do what's right. Look for the opportunities. And as we knock, the doors will be opened. As we seek, we will find and as we ask, the answer is given. Lord, I pray for my friends that, that will be a reality in their life today. Lord, we need a place to start a house of prayer and a house of worship, God. And we, we need a place to live. Lord God, this we've got 15 days to find a new place to move to. Lord, I pray that you would open up a place for us to stay. Lord God, in your mercy, we want to move to the north side of town or wherever. Open up a place. Lord, and grant us favor, we ask in the name of the Lord. Lord, we pray for my brother Larry and my nephew Justin and his wife Rebecca, and for, for Alan and Linda, Rebecca's parents. Lord, we pray for my brother Keith Green and his wife Lori. We pray for my nephews Kent and Ricky and Kent's wife Calais. Lord, we pray for Jim and Jennifer Pennywell and Brooke and, and Josh Walker. Lord, we pray for Bradley and Brady and for Fran and for Maxine. Lord, we pray for Patricia, for Jose Antonio, for Nora Eugenia, for Luz, Zeli, Luz Delia, for Carlos Alberto, for Marcos Hernando. We pray for Ruth Marina. We pray for Todd and Evelyn. We pray for Isaac and Nicholas, Caesar and Diana, for Juan Felipe and Daniela. And Lord, we pray as they minister down in Miami that you would surround them with your patience and love. Lord, heal Todd. Heal Todd. And thank you for his salvation. And thank you for his testimony. And thank you for Evelyn to be faithful in praying. And Lord, I pray that your mercy and your greatness and your goodness will abound unto them in all spiritual blessing and prosperity. Lord, we pray for my niece, Michelle, and her husband, Marty Predu. Lord, we pray for Katie and Lauren. For, we pray for Christopher Fonestock and for Jeanette Fonestock, for Michael Merlin and for Noah and Tice. Lord, your angels behold your throne, and I pray that you would protect them and bring them into the way of salvation. Lord, we pray for Timmy and family, and we pray for Sue Ann and her family. We pray for William Portilla and for Sue Yapa and for Monica, Monica Hernandez and for Billy. Lord, we pray for these people and we make intercession for them. Lord, I pray that you answer their prayers that lead to salvation and eternal life. Lord, I don't know every need, and they don't even know every need, but I do ask this, that your will would be done in their life as it is in heaven. I mention their name for you, O Lord, and I ask you to minister life unto them. Lord, I pray that you grant them visitation. I pray that you make yourself real to them. And I pray that you send forth angels, both terrestrial and celestial, to minister life unto them. Amen, amen, amen.
Lord, I also pray for my friends, for Kevin Shelton, for John Webb Phillips, for Franklin Pone, for Bruce Kirby and Janie, for Kevin Allen, for Stephen Bueller, for Jed Record, for Larry Becker, for Richard Brimfield, for Marla Dorchester and Kerbin, for, and for James, my patron. God bless you, James. May the abundant grace of God be upon you this day. Lord, we also pray for Bruce Kirby's wife uh, for healing. We pray for Janet Penny's uh, father-in-law, and we pray for Flip's mom. We pray for Rafael R Rivera. Lord, he is in need of mercy and love. We pray for Wanda Gonzalez, and we pray for all the, the Deacon Carlos's family. Lord, we also pray for Kimberly, for William, for Alicia, for Megan, for David. We pray for Dalen and for Taylor. And Lord, we pray for Eileen Smith's Uncle Ronald. Lord, he just needs a help. He just needs a touch of God like we all do. And I pray for Uncle Ronald. I pray that you answer his prayers that lead to salvation and eternal life. I pray that you give your angels charge over him to protect him in all his ways. And Lord, I pray that you have mercy on him and grant him your peace. Lord, I pray this day for an abundant blessing on my friends who are watching today on Facebook. Lord, Grant them blessing both here and in the age to come. All right, now, Lord, I have mercy on the old, the young, the needy, the orphans, the widows, and all who are in sickness and sorrow, distress and afflictions, oppression and in captivity, in prison and confinement. Lord, we pray especially for the people of Nice, Lord, in this tragedy. Lord, we pray that you open the eyes of the government officials and let them wake up to what's going on there in this world, and our officials, too, who are cowering under the threats of, of militant Muslims. I mean, Lord have mercy. I mean, we know who's causing the problem. It's not a religion. It's because that's a religion. If it's even if it is a religion of peace, if they're using that, they're whacked in the head, God. And, and but let our own governments know, hey, this is wrong. And Lord, remove those that are in cahoots with the devil, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> sorry, but that's the truth. I'm not sorry either. And Lord, I pray for the the city of Dallas. Lord, you know, this race situation, you know, it's not just black and white. It's, it's nationalities. That's all it is. It's any difference. It's the, it's the jocks against the geeks. All right. It's the Russians against the Greeks. It's the Ethiopians against the cops. It's the Irish against the English. You know, it, it's different tribes in Africa are against one another. It's one nation of Indians against another nation of Indians. It's the Yankees and the, and the Rednecks. It's hate. It's the Northern Baptists against the Southern Baptists. It's the Pentecostals against the non-Pentecostals. It's the uber docs against the Orthodox. You know, anything that causes division, Lord. Race is just one area, and people are magnifying it. Instead of, instead of building bridges, instead of building peace, we're all yee, 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 and posting comments about my life matters and your life matters and all this. You know what? All lives matter. And, and there's been wrong done to everyone. And it doesn't matter. I don't care what you do. It's going to take the name of Jesus and repentance in your own heart. You know, we got churches that are, we're complaining about. Let me tell you something. We need to fix ourselves. And if at least we fix ourselves, then we fix part of the church that's broken. You know what that saying is? Hey, you know, take the telephone pole out of your own eye before you start trying to remove the splinter that's in your friend's eye. I mean, we call ourselves Christian. Let's follow the teachings of Christ, right? Hello, sorry, that was my soapbox right there in the middle of prayer thinking about that. But Lord, I pray for all those who are suffering, who have been victims of rage, have been victims of hate, who have been victims of racism, Lord, I pray for those infected by the sin of hate, by the sin of racism, by the sin of pride. And I pray that you will have mercy on them and on me and deliver us in the name of the Lord. Lord, I pray that you save them from all their persecution. Remember them, visit them, strengthen and comfort them, and by the power grant them speedy relief and deliverance. Lord, we pray for this, the, the people over in Turkey that they had a coup going on. Lord, may your will be done in that country. That's a weird country as well, Lord God. I pray that your mercy and your peace will come upon them. And Lord, I pray that you, so that your church can live a calm and peaceful and orderly life. Lord, have mercy on all who travel by land and, and uh, 
land, sea, and air, and save them all who are sent on duty. We pray for all those in the armed forces, the Army, Air Force, Navy, and Marines, and Coast Guard, and all our brothers, sisters, and all Christians. Have mercy, O Lord, on our enemies. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that's, that's where we are. <laughs> Good morning, and God bless. Yes, help the victims. Amen, Jay Lenora. Amen. Help, help the victims. Help those who are suffering loss. Help those whose heart have been ripped out by these attacks. Lord, let us pray for our enemies. Let us pray for the terrorists. And I, now I'm not going to say that we just need to understand them. You know, we, we're not called to understand, are we? I think we're called to intercede and to pray. I mean, I, I, why? How can I say that? Because I can't even understand myself. And, and how much can, how much, what do we think? That we can understand everybody? Anyway, regardless of our own hum, human limitations, that's why we're asking for divine assistance. Lord, we pray for our enemies. We pray for all who envy us, both here at home, our, within our own family, in our government, in our, our state, in our city. We pray for all who envy us this day and those who deal unjustly with us. Lord, may they not perish for our, because of us sinners. Lord, we pray for the, the, the militant Muslims that are causing these attacks and all of the terrorists. Lord, I pray that you grant them visitation. I pray that the Prince of Peace would come and knock them on their butts just like you did St. Paul. Right, he was on the road to Damascus, God, and, and he was to there to kill certain of your church or taken a lot to prison. And you appeared to him, and the light shone round about. You can do that, Lord, and I ask you, Father, that you would have mercy on my enemies. Lord, let them not perish because of me, a sinner. And Lord, I pray that you give them light, that you, you teach. I pray for those that are going up, Lord God. I pray that you will, by your power of your Holy Spirit, that you will reveal the Prince of Peace to our enemies. And Lord, that true conversion would take place. I pray that you break through the hate. Lord, enlighten, enlighten all with the truth of your holy wisdom, all who have gone astray from the faith, led by destructive heresies and divergent philosophies. Unite them once more to your holy Catholic and apostolic church, the one body of Christ. Lord, remember those who have departed this life, all patriarchs, metropolitans, archbishops, and all those who have served in your priesthood. Lord, our parents, family, and friends. Lord, for David and Ruth, for Marcus Antonio, for Michael P., for Lucretia, for Samuel Gockley and Anna Mary and Kirgi and Berth and all the uh, Hall children, for Abbott Martin and John, and, and for Father Thomas Hopko, for Monsignor John Caulfield, for Father uh, Eusebius Stefani, for Bishop Paul Combs and Bishop Lima. For Brian, for Dale, for Sam, for Vondalee, for James, for Ruth and Lee and Beth. Lord, I pray for them. I pray that um, you would grant them rest in your eternal kingdom. Remember the souls that have fallen asleep and forgive them of any sin committed in knowledge or in ignorance and grant them a portion in your eternal, in, in your eternal kingdom and an ending life. Remember all who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection our brothers and sisters and Christians throughout the world, and place them with your saints before the light of your countenance. Have mercy on us, for you are a good God and the lover of mankind. In our final prayers, I'm going to pray for our city and parish. I prayed for the people of, of, of Nice, France. I prayed for our enemies. Lord, I pray for, you know, I pray for the, our enemies within our own government. Because, Lord God, there are people that want to destroy us from within. Lord, I pray for the upcoming election. May your will be done. May your will be done. Lord, may your will be done. Heavenly Father, we ask you to send your Holy Spirit and touch the people, touch the hearts of the people in Lakeland, Florida. And, and I'm going to add the, the others. Touch, Lord, send your Holy Spirit and touch the people in Dallas, Texas, and in Nice, France, and in Paris, France, and in Orlando, Florida. Lord, and in, in Turkey and in Istanbul. Lord, and for the monks on Mount Athos, God touch them too. We ask that you encourage them to seek the living truth, your son, the Lord Jesus Christ, and his holy church. We pray that their hearts may be turned from the temptations of this world and from the words of heretical teachers. We pray also for ourselves that our hearts would be hard, not be hardened to the gospel, but that we would be living lights and representatives of our Savior. 
Lord, we pray for the church in Lakeland. May it be a true haven of rest. Encourage, let, let it be a, a house of encouragement at a hospital and a hope for all who call it home. Lord, we pray that you quench the divisions and we pray that all who call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in Lakeland may be one. All who call upon the name of the Lord Jesus in Dallas, in Orlando, and in Washington, D.C., and in the state of Florida and around the world, that we will be one even as you are one and your Holy Spirit and your Son are one. Amen. Lord, we give you glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Lord, we give you praise. This has been Father Wade here in Lakeland, Florida, praying the morning prayers. Wow, it's 7.51. I cannot believe it. And I know, I get talking and get praying, but that's what happens when you start praying. Anyway, I'm going to have to get a treadmill here maybe so that I can walk and pray at the same time. So please visit our, our Patreon page, patreon.com slash Friar Wade. Um, you can share this video out. Um, visit us on uh, Facebook, facebook.com slash Friar Wade, our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Friar Wade. And above all, would you pray for us, pray for me, that uh, we will be faithful to the Lord's calling because I need your prayers more than ever before. I want to thank you all for joining us. Thank you for praying with us. You make a difference. And I pray that the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit will be upon you this day. God bless you. Send me some love.